The issue I'm running into is um, footage with 60 frames per second uh, not being correctly converted in compressor. So um, here's the walkthrough through the steps. So I'm going to go open uh, Final Cut. This is Final Cut 10.4. Um, and same thing will happen in Final Cut 10.4.1, but I'll do it in Final Cut 10.4. I did update compressor. But let's see if this works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the file. Um, it's actually on my desktop camera. Where's that file? Uh, right there. I'm going to import selected. And uh, I'm just going to create a new project just for fun. And we're going to throw it into them. All right, we're done. Now let's say we're, we want to go ahead and compress this file. Just to, let's say, use, um, let's say, a editor in a different uh, in a different country or something like that. That way, I could even have smaller files. So what we'll do is we'll actually um, create a uh, edited file. This is up to 4K for editor. Um, the video codecs are pretty much up to 4K, um, which is going to be 1920 by 1080. Uh, automatic frame rate is 59.94. Um, I've tried messing with all of this uh, but let's go ahead and convert it and what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to um, relink it in Final Cut to this converted file and see if the relink happens so it's almost done converting And I will actually, if it doesn't relink, I'll actually walk through what the issues is um, in terms of analyzing the time code, because the issues is actually with time code. All right, file is right here. Let's go ahead and open up Final Cut and try to relink this file. I'm going to relink file, uh, click all, select it. Um, usually I rename the file to the same names, but this technically works as well. And let's go ahead and do that, choose. And we get this error, incompatible file. The original file and new file have no shared media ranges. Well, that's interesting because if we take a file and I'm going to go ahead and use the same exact file, uh, not same exact file, but we're going to go ahead and try to grab a a f just another random file. Let me just take a small file. Let's just take this file right here. We're going to place it to the desktop as well. Um, so here's the other file. We're going to drag it into Final Cut. So let's go ahead and import it. Uh, there it is. Import. And everything's fine. Now let's go ahead and try to convert this file using the same exact setting. And the only difference is, is this file actually is 30 frames or 24, actually 24, 23, 9, uh, 9, 6 or 9, 8, whatever it is, uh, 30 frames, they all work. They're completely fine. The only issues I'm running with is uh, 60 frame footage from the Canon 5D Mark IV. So the file is almost done converting and we're going to try to go ahead and relink this file in Final Cut with a... Uh, with the convert file, uh, pretty much we're creating in a way proxies, uh, but H.264 proxies. And we don't want to use the built in function in Final Cut to do proxies because um, they do cut that resolution in half and there's a lot less options to work with. So let's go ahead and try to relink this file. Relink. And here is camera A, here is the file. And everything works as expected. So now, what is the issue? Why is uh, the 24 and 30 frames footage relinking and the 60 frame footage from camera uh, 5D Mark IV not relinking? Let's go ahead and analyze the time code. So we're going to go ahead and analyze it, and this is where the issue is. So if you look at the original file, which this was not relinked yet, this file starts at 8, 2, 3, 21, 35. I'm actually going to go ahead and import the um, the converted file that way we kind of see what's up and here's the converted file now if we analyze 
the time code on the converted file, it's actually different. The converted file is actually 8225122, and this is 8232134. Pretty much, the time code is offset for some reason. The duration is 13, 18, so 13 seconds and 18 frames. And this one is 13 seconds and 18 frames, same exact duration. If you analyze the audio, um, it's the same. Um, I know the audio codecs are a little bit different, but it seems to not affect the 24 and 30 frames per second footage. Um, so if we go ahead and import, uh, if we go ahead and analyze both of the, the camera A, which is the 24 frames per second, we're gonna go ahead and import the original again. Um, that way we kind of see what's up. So there we go, we're gonna see camera original. 9.46.16.21, 9.46.16.21 is the start time on the camera A footage. This is both the converted file. Codecs have slightly changed, but that's okay. I have tried it with uh, bypass, um, um, so basically do not convert audio, but pretty much just um, attach the uncompressed audio. But pretty much it looks like camera N, which is um, from the Canon 5D Mark II, when it converts in compressor, so this has nothing to do with Final Cut, it changes the start and end time code. This is a bug in compressor that is doing that. Um, that is a problem, obviously. So uh, the workaround that I have is I don't compress the camera end before I upload. So pretty much I'm literally uploading the... Um, the uncompressed versions of camera N. And technically you can say, well, why don't you create proxy versions and then just relink the proxy versions? Well, that creates a lot of problems because then uh, proxy versions are actually not as small as the 10 megabit conversions that I'm doing with H.264. Uh, uh, also, there are, um, you know, half the resolution, which creates kind of sometimes some, some problems, especially when you're working with only 1080p with 4K, it's fine. So, um, this is the issue. I wish Compressor can be fixed. So this is with Compressor 10.4.4.1. Uh, Mac is the iMac Pro uh, running 10.3.3.1 High Sierra. I don't think that matters. I've tried it on different computers. I've tried it with a MacBook Pro uh, running older compressions and stuff like that. Uh, 64 gigabyte RAM, Pro Vega, 64, 16 gigabyte card and stuff like that. So that's that. Um, just curious. If you guys could um, look into this, I can attach this file and you know hopefully fix this bug um, with uh, with compressor. Thank you.